Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. Uh, welcome to this exciting AA orientation session for the December 2023 exam. And before I move on to more important stuff, I need a little confirmation from your side. Am I absolutely crystal clear, especially with respect to voice quality? Can you all, you know, can have confirm it through the chat box at least? Okay, Samantha, thank you very much. So finally, I've got one yes. Okay, that's great. So today is 15th September. Thank you, Jamila. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so today is 15th September and your final exam is on 4th December 2023. So this is the date which you need to keep in your mind for the next 80 odd days. So yeah, you have got approximately 80 days and 80 days are more than enough to make sure you don't end up attempting the exam rather you have to be the type 2 of the student type 1 is just going to attempt the exam the type 2 is going to make sure he or she is going to secure the exam on 4th december 2023 yes prayers and blessings are always required it's a never ending story but at the same time your hard work will play a very, very, very important role. So you need to make sure, or rather we need to make sure that 4th December 2023 is a winning day for us. And we have to make sure we are not just going to attempt the final exam. Rather, we have to secure the final exam. We have to lock it up. We have to make sure we are absolutely certain with respect to the exam result which will be somewhere in the mid of January. And we have to make sure that on 4th December 2023, we are crystal clear what needs to be done for the March 2023 attempt. So double A should be out of the system as, as the day will progress on 4th December 2023. Okay, on your screen, there are a couple of very, very important numbers. The first number, belongs to me and I am almost 24 by 7 available on WhatsApp. So you can always text me up on WhatsApp and most of in most of the occasions, my response rate is, is on a very good side. Anyways, the second number belongs to the WIFI. So this is their official number for the sake of enrollment and admission. So if anyone out there uh, who is yet to enroll for the double A or triple A or any other batch which is offered by WIFI, you got to contact this number and I would say you got to save this number. Contact them through the WhatsApp text. So let's move on. So here is a brief introduction about me. Well, my name is Ahmed and I am currently part of WIFI. WIFI is the Gold Online ALP. ALP stands for Approved Learning Partner. And this approval is exclusively and, you know, this is an approval by the ACCA itself. So we are a proud Gold Online ALP. We work very hard initially to attain this status and now more importantly to maintain this Gold status, which obviously depends upon the magnificent results we produce by the grace of Almighty to all the papers. Now I'm teaching AA and AAA at WIFI and both the papers are now available in both the languages. So yeah, you are covered with respect to everything. Yeah, okay, uh, something more about me. I've been part of the ACCA's official practice to pass webinars for both AA and AAA and Yes, I was, I, I had few recent distinctions in the exams of AA and AAA, so yeah. Okay, now what about the pass rates of AA? Okay, before I move on to the pass rates of AA, I want your participation. Is there anyone who could let me know what is the global pass rate on an average for the last two years, three years, one year for the exam FR? Is there anyone who could let me know what is the global pass rate on an average for FR? Give me one number, one number. 
30%, is it 60%, is it 40%, give me one number. Okay, Ali is saying less than 50%, no, 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 Samantha, not 40%, it is consistently somewhere around 50%, 48, 49, 50, 51, 49, 50, so for FR, the number is 50. You can cross-check it if you want to through the ACCA's website. Okay, what is the global pass rate on an average for the last two years, three years for the exam tax? Anyone? Tax? Anyone? One number. It's also touching 50%. What's the global pass rate for the paper FM on an average for the last two years, for the last eight attempts, for the last 10 attempts? It's somewhere around 50%. What's the global pass rate for SBR? 50%, sometimes 51%. What's the global pass rate for the most expensive exam, SBL? Well, 50, 51%. Now, please realize all those papers are either touching 50% or even crossing 50%. But what about double A? 39%, 38%, then 2022 was a major hit, 44%, then a jump, a, 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 a step down to 39%, then 44 then 40 then 44 and the last time it was 45%. So on an average, if I have to take one average, I would say, okay, 41% maybe. So please realize, there is a huge difference between 50, 50, 51 and 40, 41 percent, which is the average result for AA. Now, you must be wondering why AA has got such a poor pass rate. Well, the main objective of this orientation session is to teach you a couple of things. A, why students fail AA exam. B, and more importantly, what things you or me or for that matter, what things we need to make sure in order to ensure that we end up, you know, securing the exam on 4 December 2023. Before we move on to that, why students fail and what things we need to do? Well, what about the course content? So let's discuss the course content of AA. Well, AA has, will start with the first three minor topics. These three are minor topics. We'll start the syllabus with the overall introduction to audit and assurance followed by what is what are fundamental principles of ethics, what are threats and what is the procedure we, we execute when we have to accept a new client. So the first topic is ethics and acceptance and we are going to invest two, three days on that. Then we'll move towards the second minor topic which is corporate governance. And it's a methodology, it's a set of rules and regulations, set of guidelines, which will help us in making sure that the companies are run in the best interest of the overall stakeholders. So another minor topic, followed by third minor topic, which is not exactly external audit, rather internal audit. So approximately according to my planner document, you are going to invest four to five days on three minor topics. But once you are done with these three minor topics, you will cover the CRQs relevant to those minor topics, the long questions. You will cover the section A questions relevant to those three topics. Once we are absolutely well prepared for the exam, for both the section A and the section B of the exam, we will finally move towards the fourth topic, which is a major topic and it's called audit risk and planning. Obviously, once we will be done with the audit risk and planning, it will take approximately 10 days. We'll move towards the section A and the section B relevant to audit risk and planning. Once we are done with this topic number four, topic number five will follow the same pattern, which is called internal control system. Topic number six, which is the backbone of the AA syllabus, substantive procedure will follow the same pattern. Substantive procedures followed by the section A, OTQs followed by the CRQs we will not create a set of substantive procedures which everyone has to rote learn. No, I will teach you the technique to develop a substantive procedure. My technique will have three beautiful ingredients. 
what is a substantive procedure it will have an action which will be executed by the auditor it will have a source of evidence and within the substantive procedure you will mention that what do you want to achieve what's the objective what's the objective objective means what assertion you need to verify so an action has to be performed an evidence has to be collected and there is an underlying objective which needs to be fulfilled so this is about the backbone of double a which is called substantive procedure i will never ask you to learn or wrote learn certain number of procedures and you are done for the day you are done for the backbone of double a no not at all i'm going to teach you a technique which will make sure that irrespective of the fact what kind of substantive procedure or for what items substantive procedures are required in your final exam you will be able to ace the paper last but surely not the least the seventh and the last topic is called completion review and reporting another minor topic and we will follow the same pattern that we will ensure that we are going to pay huge amount of respect to the section a and a huge amount of respect to the section b as well so this is your syllabus and as a double a tutor i have to make sure that we are going to pay equal respect or good enough respect to each and every topic whether it's a minor topic or whether it's a major topic all over the world the students will devote 99 percent of their total credit hours on the three major topics well we will devote extraordinary time to those three major topics but at the same time we will make sure we do not make any compromise on minor topics because those four minor topics will cover at least 40 percent of your final exam so just imagine you had poor typing speed and you were not able to attempt 10 mark paper and just imagine you were not that good with respect to the four minor topics it means you have comprehensively failed the 50 mark paper and now it's a mission impossible seven to pull off a victory out of the remaining 50 marks so the learning outcome or the critical success factor or i think the knockout knockout punch is we are going to prepare the three minor topics as efficiently and as effectively as we can but at the same time we are not going to ignore the minor topics are we clear up to this point can i move on can i have little confirmation from your side maybe in the form of yes are you are you clear okay thank you very much thank you now it's time to move towards the exam format exam format for double a is different as compared to the pm fm fr or tax exam all those papers had three exam sections a b and c and out of those a b and c the first two exam sections were so convenient that you had to just select the options in most of the occasions or i would say the first two sections of your pm fr or tax exam had nothing to do with your it skills had nothing to do with your typing speed in fact the section a and section b of your pm fr tax and fm exams are marked by the software so there is no human involvement whatsoever but when it comes to double a when it comes to double a there are two sections only it's a bad news it's a tough news it's a news which needs to be absorbed section a will have three otqs each and every otq will have five questions in it it means five to the ten followed by five to the ten followed by five to the ten which makes 30 marks now those three otqs would be from any area of the syllabus any area it could be from a minor topic ethics which is a very likely otq it could be a combination of corporate governance and internal audit another two minor topics it could be a combination of audit risk 
along with internal controls. It could be a combination of substantive procedures, evidence, along with the completion review and reporting. It could be a complete question on completion review and reporting. So nobody on planet Earth knows what exactly is coming up in section A. The safe side is, or according to the examiner is, all the seven areas, the first three minor, followed by the next three major. Lastly, there is another minor. All seven areas of the syllabus will be or could be tested in section A. I hope all of you are clear with respect to section A and I hope all of you will realize the importance of solving the section A questions which are available in your exam kits. I'm not saying exam kit, I'm saying exam kits, both the Kaplan and the BPP exam kit. What about section B? Well, for the section B, there are three CRQs or there will be three CRQs in the exam. The first CRQ will have 30 marks followed by another two CRQs for 20 marks each. Definitely these questions, question one, two and three will have sub exam requirements, part A, part B, part C. Now that 70 mark paper, 70, that 70 mark paper, will have almost 95% marks devoted to your typing. So effectively speaking, this exam has got nothing to do with the spreadsheet. Yes, there is a possibility that out of 70, four to five marks could be relevant to the calculation, but what kind of calculation? Ratios and trends. Gross profit margin, operating profit margin. Inventory holding period, receivable collection period, payment, payables payment period, current ratio, quick ratio, interest cover and the change, the percentage change increase in revenue at the same time the percentage increase in the cost of sales or the percentage increase in the finance cost as compared to the percentage increase in the non-current liability. So such ratios and trends that could earn you max 5 mark out of the 70 mark and this is not a guarantee. Maybe somebody will experience a double A exam which will have no calculation whatsoever. And some of you might experience an exam which will have five marks relevant to calculations. So this double A paper is a discussion based paper. It requires writing skills which I will make sure that you will develop as the course will progress. I cannot create writing skills within an hour or within an you know it's not a overnight story not at all i need time and i need an effort from from you and from my side and i can create the writing level the level of writing which is required to ace the paper with flying colors okay now it's time to move towards the most important part of the today's session i need to teach you couple of things and I mentioned those things in the WhatsApp group as well early in the morning when I sent a reminder text in the paid group in the free global group that I will be teaching you couple of things today. Number one, how to fail the paper and I think I believe more importantly how to pass the paper. Well, there is one thing in my mind right now. I want to sleep with all the peace in the world on 4th December 2023. So I take my life on a quarterly basis. Now 4th December has to be a winning day for us, for me. And 4th December has to be a peaceful night for me. It can only happen if you will understand why students fail. And at the same time, what needs to be done in order to pass the paper. So why students fail and how to make sure that we will pass the paper. So let's start the most important 10 minutes of this session. So why AA has got such a high failure rate? I've already made you realize it has got a very poor pass rate as compared to FR, tax, PM, FM. So you've got to realize you need a very good effort. So the AA has got a very poor pass rate primarily or initially because of the fact that majority students will struggle with the typing speed. What is more convenient? Typing 
or the spreadsheet what is more convenient for the student what is easier can you share your thoughts yes for the students the more convenient option is spreadsheet the numbers the excel typing speed is a problematic thing when it comes to double a students so the first reason behind high failure rate when it comes to double a is the poor typing speed so that's the first major reason behind such a high failure rate in double a now what do we have to do well you have to make sure you sign up for a free account on typing.com typing.com and you have to invest one hour per day on typing.com for the next 20 days and your typing speed will be your typing speed will improve significantly and not only double a you will be able to have a great time management when it comes to your triple a exam so that's the first reason behind the failure rate poor typing speed and i've told you the solution focus on typing.com for just 20 25 days for one hour per day okay second reason behind a higher failure rate in double a many students will read the question and they will read the solution most probably in between reading the question and reading the solution okay fine they will use the brain they will generate the ideas they will do the they will perform all the brainstorming okay their ideas will be top notch and they will be thinking in the correct direction but guess what you are not exam prepared maybe you understood a particular question and you taught it to a to a friend and that friend went home after studying from you and he or she solved the entire question with the help of solution on the ACCS practice platform. So if you want to fail the paper, don't type it on the ACCS practice platform. And if you want to nail the paper on 4th December 2023, you have to make sure you are using ACCS practice platform for each and every question which i will be discussing during my lectures there will be one dozen questions on auditors in your portal approximately one dozen questions on systems and controls maybe a dozen or more than a dozen relevant to the substantive procedures and evidence not only that my lectures would be covering the minor topics such as ethics corporate governance and internal audit not only for the section a but for the crqs as well so make sure you do type them on the practice platform. So that's the second reason behind high failure rate. Let's go to the third reason. Well, for the last one and a half year or so, ACCA has blessed us with a thing called my exam performance report. This is out. This is usually published after the exam result. Now, when I inquire or when I have a discussion with the AA successful students and similarly when i have a discussion with the double a unsuccessful student there is a very clear differentiation between the two and the difference or or you can say the most defining difference is the section a those who are going to score 40 to 49 or i would say 40 to 55 will never pass the section a whenever i interrogate or investigate the result of a student who failed the paper at 46 48 there is one thing which is always consistent and common across all the failures they would score 8 out of 30 sometimes 10 out of 30 sometimes 6 out of 30 max 12 out of 30 and the final score is 46 48 what should be your score in your section a when it comes to 4th december 2023 what do you think what do you suggest what do you feel like what do you want what should be your score in section a minimum what do you think what should be your score in section a yes i think we all need to score at least 20 marks 
at least that's i'm being very prudent and i'm being very pessimist about it but if you trust me and or if you ask me what should be my, if i have to attempt the double a paper on 4 december 2023 as a student i will be targeting nothing but 24 nothing less than 24 one mistake per otq makes sense so i will end up scoring 24 out of 30 shazad absolutely right and that 24 is not an overwhelming number that 24 is not a mission impossible and you're not tom cruise either so 24 is a realistic number which we can practically achieve it's not mission impossible so now keep couple of numbers in your mind 8 out of 30 and 24 out of 30 can you can you hold this thought and can you keep this num these two numbers in your mind for the next 10 minutes i've got i have to tell you a story about it okay let's go to the third reason well fourth reason why students fail the paper what about the third reason not scoring good marks in your section a well what's the solution well the solution is i will be teaching all the minor topics i will be teaching all the major topics you i will be solving questions relevant to the minor topics and the major topics now what we have to do in order to make sure we end up scoring 24 we have to make sure we actually solve both the kaplan and the bpp kids relevant to the section a and once we are done with the syllabus or once we are you know almost approaching the final mock exam which i will execute i will give you few questions very very selective questions relevant to section a and those questions will further polish your exam preparation relevant to section a so section a holds the key and what's the solution solve both kits read the solution try to understand why option a is not correct or for that matter why option b is correct so you have to have critical mind when you are reading the solution for the section a okay reason number four why double a has got a high failure rate out of 70 marks in the section b almost 15 to 20 marks would call the knowledge based area it's also known as the bookish knowledge base area so for 20 marks practically speaking you don't even have to read the question for 20 marks you don't have to read the case or the scenario so those are called according to the examiner those are called straightforward bookish knowledge exam requirements now there will be two types of students just like the section a 24 versus 8 there will be two types of students with respect to this fourth point option number one you will score 20 out of 20 or 18 or 16 out of 20 okay let's call it 16 out of 20 type 2 you will not score anything at all because you will not attempt it because you will not be able to attempt it so choose your side i will provide you notes relevant to the bookish knowledge but at the same time i will emphasize in each and every lecture that this has to be your bookish knowledge out of this chapter out of this topic out of the out of today's lecture jamila can you confirm this so for each and every topic i will be mentioning that see this is the bookish knowledge make sure you create your own notes for this and i'm not asking you to use your you know creative writing you just have to use the study text and you know create notes for yourself type it and as a result of that you will be prepared for another 20 marks okay let's go to the fifth reason why double a has got a high failure rate well for those three major topics growth learning ratta will not work your cramming alone will not work so there is a technique for audit risk according to the marking scheme there is an exam technique how to identify and how to explain the control deficiency if you will identify the control deficiency appropriately you will only score half mark in order to score another half mark there is a technique for that there is a special word or phrases for that special words or phrases 
should be utilized in your answer in order to score another half mark. Similarly, when it comes to recommendation, you got to ensure of certain things. Otherwise, you will not be able to score mark. So this is what I call exam technique. And there is an exam technique for the auditress. There is a very critical exam technique for the internal control systems. And when it comes to substantive procedure, rote learning or ready-made notes relevant to the substantive procedure will not work. So you have to learn the technique. And if you are not going to learn the technique from your double A tutor, you will pay the price in your triple A. So yeah, I have to make sure you are well prepared for all the three major topics so that you don't have to pay the price when we will be studying AAA pretty soon or I would say sooner than soon. So that's the fifth reason behind that failure. Let's go to the second last reason which is do not ignore your minor areas during your exam preparation. So once you will start attending the lectures, you will be starting with ethics. You will be starting or you will con after ethics you will go on to corporate governance then you will explore explore internal audit those three are minor topics so please pay huge amount of respect to those minor topics i will be solving crqs relevant to that you should type them on the practice platform we will be exploring the section a otqs relevant to that you should pay huge amount of respect to that as well so do not ignore your minor areas during your exam preparation most certainly i will not last but surely not the least you have to make sure that you will attempt the final mock exams wifi will conduct two mock exams and your mock exam would be marked exclusively by me each and every line would be marked by me but you have to make sure you have to make sure that you will attempt the mock exam as per the guidelines provided by me because it's a remote activity i have to place a huge amount of trust on you so there will be a certain date for the mock exam so you have to follow and you have to make compliance of all the rules and regulations which i will establish for the next 80 days okay so this is the most important part now let me quickly tell you my plan as i just mentioned earlier as well We'll start with the first three minor topics, ethics, corporate governance, and internal audit. We will not move to the fourth topic. Rather, we will solve questions relevant to these three minor topics. And when I say questions, it means both the section A and the section B questions. Checkmate, please realize we are paying huge amount of respect to the minor topics as well. And automatically, we will be covering the bookish knowledge as well. And obviously, we are going to cover the section A questions as well. Then we'll move to the risk and the relevant questions relevant to the and the questions relevant to the risk. Then the systems and controls and the questions relevant to it. Then the substantive procedures, the backbone of double A and the questions relevant to it. So these three are the major topics, and we are going to invest approximately 10, 13, 15 days on these areas approximately 10 days on it and lastly maybe three to four days on this so if you could count them 20 plus 30 33 33 plus 15 approximately 57 57 plus 4 so that's a package of 60 days and we have got 80 days mind you we have got 80 days so 60 days 80 days we are left with 20 days right so once we are done with the syllabus, after a break of a week or so, we will have grand revisions and webinars. We'll revise everything. After a break of another two, three, four days, we will have the final mock exam. Obviously, I need two, three days to read each and every one's mock exam. Once I am done with the marking and once the result of the mock exam will be available on the WIFI's portal, we will have a mock debrief and we will discuss each and everything relevant to the mock exam. So that's my plan. Then we'll move to the mock exam once we are done with the syllabus. Are we clear up to this point? Can I have a little confirmation? Are you guys clear before I move on to the last part of the today's session and a very important one? Can I have confirmation? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely. 
Now I need to discuss few critical success factors and those critical success factors will ensure that WIFI is going to produce an extraordinary result for both the AA and AAA. So these critical factors, uh, these critical factors will be ensured in both the papers. First of all, we will provide you with a planner document. What do we mean by planner document? Well, those who are already enrolled, you must have the you, you, I'm sure you have explored the planner document which is available in your portal. So you must not breach the deadlines available in your planner document. That planner document has been prepared with a conscious mind and it's an effort. So I have made sure that those deadlines are neither too challenging nor too easy. Those are realistic deadlines and you must follow them. So planner document is an important document for the next I won't say 80 days because the planner document has got to do with the next 60 days. Second, at least six assignments will be given to you. Probably the first assignment would be relevant to ethics, followed by maybe two assignments relevant to audit risk, followed by two assignments relevant to controls, followed by two assignments on substantive procedures and evidence. So those six assignments must be prepared, timely attempted, and properly submitted at the WIFI's portal so that you could get a feedback on it. So those assignments are very important for your overall exam preparation, especially if you want to make sure you attempt the final mock exam with great preparation, you have to follow the assignments. Okay, planner document, assignments, we will have minimum six live classes. The first live class, which will be approximately after a week, will cover the minor topics, corporate governance, ethics, internal audit. The second live class will probably cover risk. The third live class will cover controls. The fourth and the fifth live class will cover substantive procedures and evidence. The last live class would cover completion, review and reporting the last minor topic. So we will have live classes we will discuss things. I will, I will take your questions. Obviously, you can raise your questions in the WhatsApp group as well. But yeah, the live classes are going to be very important. If somebody is going to miss out the live class, A, I will feel sad. B, yes, the recording would be available exclusively on the WIFI's portal, uh, probably within the 24 hours of the live class. So yeah, we always face the time, time uh, differences and all those issues. Okay, what about the course deadline? I think I I've already discussed it. Today is 15th September and we can easily finish off everything on or before 15th November. 60 days. So is this clear? The deadline. What about the revision? Approximately after the end of the syllabus, approximately on 17th or 18th, of November, we will have grand revisions, couple of days or maybe three days. Then what? Approximately on 23rd November, we will have the final mock exam, 23rd or 24th November, plus minus one day. I need obviously two, three days to mark the mock exam. I will be marking the mock exams. And then after three days, maybe on 27, 28, 26, we will have the mock debrief on let's say on 27th or maybe 28th what about your final exam your final exam is on 4th december so you will still have five to six days before the final exam i'm sure you all are part of the paid whatsapp group but if there is anyone out there who is not willing to join wifi for the double a for the december 2023 for whatever reason well, you are more than welcome to at least join the free AA global WhatsApp group. And I do share quite a lot of things in the free WhatsApp group as well. Especially, I make sure that if my paid students are motivated and they are on their toes, or if there is anything which is relevant or important, anything new especially, I do update the free WhatsApp group groups as well. So yeah, you can join the free WhatsApp group as well. Uh, I'm sure somebody will share the link of the free WhatsApp group, not the paid WhatsApp group, obviously, the free WhatsApp group link in the chat box. 
ओके दिस इज इट अवल व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप रिमाइंड मी ऑफ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इट्स माय हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज पिन द रेलिवेंट व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप व्हाट्सएप अलाउज यू टू पिन थ्री डिफरेंट चैट्स राइट मे बी यू हैव ऑलरेडी पिन समथिंग एल्स बट कैन यू प्लीज पिन द डबल ए ग्रुप द पेड ग्रुप you have to pin the paid double a group make sure it's pinned right on top of your whatsapp for the next 80 days so these were the critical success factor as we all know we have got double a english batch and along with that we have got well triple a english batch triple a hindi batch and similarly we have got double a english batch and we have got double a hindi urdu batch as well now which batch is suitable for you well you got to decide for yourself but let me tell you something both the batches will have same assignments the six assignments both the batches will have same mocks both the batches will be provided with same mock same study text same exam kit both the batches will have the same level of whatsapp support i will be very vocal in the whatsapp group you have to bear and tolerate my voice notes i will be inspire i will try to inspire you i will try to remind you the assignments i will be solving the queries with the help of voice note you can if anyone out there who has got any confusion in double a just share the confusion in the in your paid whatsapp group so that others could you know realize what what is the problem with you and when i am going to answer the question everyone can get a benefit out of it so both the batches will have same number of live classes same past papers everything would be same yes that there will be different whatsapp groups double a english is a separate whatsapp group double a hindi urdu is a separate whatsapp group but the tutor is same for both the papers before i take your leave of for that matter before i take questions from your side always remember if you are preparing ethics it it is a minor topic your topic ethics has to cover three angles and if you are preparing a major topic such as audit risk still the same it has to cover three angles what do i mean by three angles well i truly believe in order to ace the paper in order to score 70 80 in double a in order to score a global or a national position in double a you got to make sure each and every topic whether it's a minor topic or a major topic your exam preparation should cover all three perspectives now what are those three perspectives if you are preparing audit risk if you are preparing ethics make sure you actually prepare otqs relevant to it make sure you have prepared the bookish knowledge bookish knowledge so it's a minor topic or it's a major topic we have to prepare the bookish knowledge last but surely not the least all over the world all over the world all the double a tutors and the students they are definitely going to prepare the major topic for the application based questions the crqs but you have to make sure even if it is a minor topic you should focus on the application based crqs because those minor topics would be part of the section b yes according to the examiner those three crqs crqs will mainly focus risk controls and procedures but at the same time those minor topics would be subject to testing within the section b so for each and every topic you must prepare three different perspectives so this is what i call the three perspectives of double a i hope this is an eye opener if there is anyone out there who has already flunked the paper double a i'm i'm dead sure it's an eye opener for you just imagine remember i asked you to keep two numbers in your mind what were those numbers i i asked you to keep those two numbers in your mind those were section a scores number 1 8 number second 24 now imagine there is a student whose name is ahmed and ahmed went on to attempt double a exam on 4 december 2023 my section a score is 8 out of 30 and my section b score let's divide section b into two parts bookish knowledge 6 out of 
20. So that makes 8 plus 6, 14. Now, what about this, the application based side of the section B? What if I scored 30 out of 50? 30 out of 50. Is it a good score or a bad score? 30 out of 50. Please tell me. 30 out of 50. Is it a good score or a bad score? Okay, let's make it 32. 32 out of 50. Okay, let's make it 34 out of 50. Okay, I'm done. So, there is a student whose name is Ahmed. Ahmed went, uh, went on to attempt double A exam on 4 December 2023. I scored 34. I scored 6. That means 40 plus 8, 48. 48 out of 100. I was pretty confident because I had a wonderful section B. I'm pretty confident that I will nail the paper. I was, I was expecting 65. But guess what? I will fail the paper and then I will say, I will share my thoughts with my friends and colleagues and, and with my, you know, maybe with cousins or family members. My exam went pretty well. I don't know what the hell is wrong with ACCA. Nothing is wrong with ACCA. You focused on one dimension. Yes, you are pretty well. You are absolutely gold in it. But what about this? And what about this? So there is another student. Maybe whose name is Jamila or Ali or anyone out there. That student scored 24 out of 30 in section A. For section B, let's divide section B into two parts. That student scored 16 out of 20. So what's the score now? That student has already scored 40 mark. What about the application based paper? If that student is going to score 30, oh, okay, okay, let's, let's go for basic number, 30 out of 50. Even let's go for 25 out of 30. 25 out of 30, which is not a great score, but it's a decent score. So 24 plus 16, 40. 40 plus 25, that is 65. 65 is a great score in double A. What if that student could manage 35 out of 50? It means 75 and you can score a national position with 75. What I am trying to teach you here, what, what, wake up. I just want you to realize for each and every topic, we have to make sure we prepare the topic from three different angles. Is this clear? Can I have confirmation with the help in the form of yes? Just imagine, keep those numbers in your mind. Thank you very much, Samantha. Thank you, Jamila. Thank you, everyone. So how do we teach at Wifi? A quick word on that. We will provide you with the recorded lectures. Definitely high quality, updated lectures. We will have the live classes. We will provide the e-notes along with the you know, study text in the exam kit. Uh, yes, you will be provided with the mock exam, the TTA model, the testing platform model will be there. We will conduct the grand revision. The TA will be available in the WhatsApp group as well. So if you have got any theory or confusion, the TA would be there, the teacher assistant would be there. But more, sure, well, most certainly I will be there uh, before the TA jumps in. So don't worry about it. This is it from my side. If you have got any concerns or confusions, please raise it now. Before I take your leave, I've got a very important announcement to make. And that announcement is at WIFI, we have got a new tutor for FR English. His name is Jerry, Mr. Jerry. Then we have got a new tutor for the paper tax in English language along with ATX in English language. The tutor's name is Ma'am Sania. Fourth, we have got a tutor for SBR in Urdu Hindi language, and the tutor's name is Sir Amjad. So, Sir Amjad is now, he has joined now. We, he has now joined Wifi for the SBR Hindi batch. For the text and ATX in English language, we have got Ma'am Sani Asif. And for the FR English, we have got uh, Sir Jerry from India. And then we have got another tutor, Ma'am Prabha. And she is going to teach SBR in English language. Yeah. 
so we have got multiple tutors so we have got multiple new tutors with those who have joined now and wifi is offering 30 percent off on all these new tutors batches so that's an important announcement which i had to make for further queries you need to contact on the wifi's admission department you can contact me if you have got any other confusion or anything which is troubling you as far as when is the last day to join double a class well according to my planner document the students will definitely start lectures from tomorrow i will have the first weekly live class after a week so you can contact the admission department right now you can take the admission tonight or tomorrow and you can start the journey and i will make sure it is going to be a successful one how much total fee of double a well that is not my department you got to contact wifi on the admission department cell number through the whatsapp text and they will guide you contact the wifi's admission department anything else so these two are very important numbers please save my number please save this number and i think this is i think it's time to take the leave thank you very much guys i wish you all the best for your double a exam i really hope so that 4th december 2023 is going to be a winning day for both of us and yes we can ensure that by making sure of certain things which i mentioned in the today's lecture don't forget there are two types of students a who are just going to attempt the paper but we have to be the type 2, which is a very special kind of student who are not only going to attempt the paper, they are going to secure the exam. And yes, we can. So this is it from my side. I wish you all the best for your double A exam and for the rest of the ACC exams. Good luck and I'll see you soon in the class. Stay blessed. Thank you very much. Take care.